Look in a, a decent outfit. You mentioned the, the three back-to-back -back wins they've, they've had in recent weeks after starting the season poorly. They're going to be full of confidence after scoring in the, the last minute at the same time as, uh, as Conor McBride did on Monday. So I'm expecting them to be a tough outfit and a similar sort of game to, to what we saw last season when they came here. So the ball played short to Alarakia. Goes back to Henry. Henry then delivers the ball towards the back post. A decent looking ball. Lined down by Odesina. Only as far as Alarakia keeps it in play. Back into Henry. Henry talks a lot into the back of the net and Cairo Mitchell gets his first goal of the season right where you want your number nine to be as that ball was played back in beautifully loitering towards Rochdale starting the day with the best defensive record in the National League just two goals conceded in those opening five games of the season she does but it's dealt with by Keir Harris and as far as Gordon who plays a good ball two anyway running the low cross goes in towards the end post Harris is there to clear it away and out for Rochdale throwing on the far side that was some ball instinctive from Kyron Gordon just split the defence apart and had Bayo rolling again he'd be slightly disappointed with his cross in the end he was trying to pick Mitchell out as he gets it again he does from a Brian and a bit with cross towards that post it's half carried away it will be Aaron Henry to take the set piece in towards the back post and it's Mitchell may have been one of two possible players there. Had a bit of rock. Actually, he's got a bit of a head in his hands over as well. So I think it may well have fallen for Toby in that back post position. We've seen in that position a couple of times in different games of the season. Couldn't find the back of the net. Absolutely fizzed in from Aaron Henry. So he takes a set piece. In towards the back post. And it's Mitchell may have been one of two possible players there. Had a bit of rock. Actually, he's got a bit of a head in his hands over as well. I think it may well have fallen for Toby in that back post position. We've seen in that position a couple of times in different games of the season. Under the final 10 minutes of this first start, we really look to start creating the chances. Ball through all the way as far as Rodney. Rodney gets it up the goalkeeper. It's just wide. Route one has been nailed there. And Rodney found himself in behind and he got the faintest of touches. Timmy Odesina was uh, panicking as he was watching the ball trundle towards. The face of goal, but in the end, it drifts just wide of the in that box, this corner is over towards that post, and Andrew Rowling nearly just fires it powerfully over the top of the crossbar, but he hasn't missed by much there at all. Well, he connected with that one really well, so much power on it, put his side foot towards it, it was east with the ball in. And he was being dragged around, no end as well by the Woking man, who was too flung off it. Yeah. Low ball towards the near post, Mitchell's there, safe, can he turn goal back, McBride puts it wide. 
another really good play, a bit of play down this right hand side. The ball through to Oliver Rowan was superb. The low cross just, just evaded Mitchell. But McBride, when he picked that up, he just seemed thinking that easy task but in the end he tries to take it away from the defenders the walker, walker bearing down the 18 yard box can Wilkie find a way back into this game walker sidewinds infield to Tendall, but Kendall's up he's heavy and that allows the goalkeeper Nicholas to collect it as Kendall goes to ground but I really think he was looking for the penalty and honestly I think he just knew that the touch was there for the defender Anyway. Yeah, it's good defending from Kyron Gordon. And you said the touch delighted to pick up back to back man of the match awards. So we're going to see Jake Berger for the final five or so minutes of this game. Second of the afternoon for Cairo Mitchell. He stuck it superbly. Again, had all the time in the world to think about where to place it. Went for the roof of the net. No chance for Yaskalainen from close range, from the angle. And has absolutely buried it for a brace. And he'll be delighted with his afternoon's work. Taking shots. And that's that. The referee, Will Davis, blows the full time whistle here. He's been a fantastic performance from Jim McNulty's man. Two goals from Tyro Mitchell and a belter from Aaron Henry in between. Gives Rochdale a commanding 3-0 win and another clean sheet. Two goals conceded in six games this season. The foundation of his Jim McNulty is building his side.